Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your girl, Tina P. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm sorry. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man, James, a.k.a. JP, and I can finally do the intro, right? Because I wasn't interrupted. <laughs> but we are out here for a vlog. We're in, um, well, we're in Lakeland right now. We were in Orlando. Lakeland's about 30 to 40 minutes, uh, I want to say, west of Orlando. And we're here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Now, this place, number one, is massive. It is huge. We just spent, like, an hour and a half in there. We easily could have spent, like, another hour or, or more in there because it's so big. We didn't really get a chance to look at anything, but what's really cool about this place it's basically like a big thrift store and they not only sell you know vintage items and whatnot from toys to furniture and dolls and i don't know whatever you could think of coke bottles and whatnot they also have um like used props from disney as well as universal theme parks so stuff that was actually used in the theme parks or the hotels uh just a whole bunch of really really cool stuff i'm filming the intro after we just spent the whole time in there but uh that is that so we're gonna quote unquote head in now you guys are gonna see everything uh that we did and then i'll see you guys here for the outro so we're starting right out here right in the front 1967 king midget and unless you've had a tetanus shot recently please do not touch because this thing is rusty but that is pretty cool to see Top speed is 60 on the speedometer. It's got 197,000 miles on it. Even the mirrors are cracked. <laughs> With the mask on, that's hilarious. A bunch of different pins out here. Bunch of different Disney pins out here. So. Well, there's so many pins to go through. Over here with the mask, and then over here, we have a ride vehicle from California, from Disneyland. Just for the run out of area. No, it's area. I think. No. I don't know. Alright. Some like happy new clothes. Oh, they even have a uh, mask. That's a. Some official Disney mask. Bunch of like little figurines and stuff. Uh, get a little figurine. It's pretty cool. A bunch of figurines. So, so even more pins in here. These are probably a little bit more limited edition stuff. I think there's a random like reindeer looking thing. Some vintage hot wheels. Any other, you have like other just random like stuff. So it's a mixture of like so much stuff, a bunch of Disney stuff, and then just other random things. Like random jewelry, stuff that nobody cares about. And for all of 
What is this? It's like a figure in like a VHS style. I don't know if there's an actual figure in here. Oh, there is. That is pretty cool. So it's like a figure inside of like a VHS style of clamshell package. Five bucks. What? I might get this Toy Story one back here. What else do they have? Cinderella, Lion King. Five bucks. I've never seen this. I'll probably pick this up. It's pretty cool. I kind of want this Lion King one too, but this one's a little bit more beat up. Okay, let's see what's inside of here. Simba. Uh, 30 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this one's a little beat up, so I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to grab that Toy Story one. So here are all the toys. A bunch of toys. Mario. Let's see what we got. Turtles. It says Ninja Turtles Vintage. I don't know what year this is because they re-released these so many times. And we got the like 2010-ish Turtles down there. Another, oh this is definitely a knockoff Ninja Turtle right here. Look at that head right there. Definitely a knockoff, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, these definitely look like some knockoff Turtles. more turtles here. See, this is what the head scope should be looking like. Again, it was like 2012 turtles. These kind of look a little suspect as well. But... Oh my god. Ninja Turtle Jello. Cyclops. I think this is X-Men Evolution. Also some transformer stones. Ooh, Avatar, which Avatar? Ah, uh, the blue people Avatar. VHS. Yellow VHS. Tweety. Tweet and lovely. I have it already. And then you have a bunch of McDonald's. Happy Meal Toys in here. I have this Mario one. It's so much stuff. Oh my god. The Young Anakin. Captain Phasma. Here you got a bunch of different... Down here too. This whole cage is nothing but uh, McDonald's like Happy Meal style toys. Lion King puzzle. That actually looks kind of interesting. Oh, this was here. I was here a long time ago, and this was here. It was a uh, 101 Dalmatian set of figures. $100, which isn't bad. It comes up to like a dollar per figure, and it comes in this cool collectible case and whatnot. Lion King toys. Jungle Book. Christina's going through the movies. Ooh! Ham Happy Meal toy. Can't really see the inside. How much is this? Let's see. Huh. I have the blue right side. So I got some just cool like random little Toy Story figures. That's Nothing that's too interesting. Right? What? That's cool. They're all on Disney Plus. How much is it? Four dollars. Four dollars. Uh, I don't know. We'll come back for it if I change my mind. Depends what else we find in school. Oh my god. Okay. 
tablecloth or something for a party? Play night. Alright. Just like random beach style stuff we don't care about. Same thing. Some random like vintage cups, Budweiser. Not really anything interesting. Let's keep moving and see what else we can find. Cool artwork right here. I got a brave movie poster. Some other vintage. Oh, this is uh from Tokyo Disneyland. That's pretty cool. And the people mover. It's actually not bad. $32.99 for something like this with the frame and everything. There's Pirates of the Caribbean poster in Adventureland. Tomorrowland. These are some really, really cool posters. I don't know. I kind of want... I don't know. I want one. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we find anything else. Oh, look at this Monsters Inc. figure set. That's pretty cool. How much is this? 16 bucks. Who years is this from? Doesn't say. Oh, this is actually from the park, too. It's pretty cool. Ooh, popcorn bucket, $45. You can go to Hollywood Studios and get this one right now, I believe. $10 for this BB-8 clock. Huh. Oh, yeah, it is a clock. Down the pops. I have this one. This is an old one. I wonder how much they're selling it for. $15.99. It's not terrible. I don't know how much it's actually worth right now. Prince. $15.99. So they might be selling all these for like $15.99. Let's see. $12.99. I don't have an alien pop, but share a footy with a dislocated arm. $15.99. And so we got If I were to get anything, it'd probably be this one. I don't have this one yet. I might pick this one up, we'll see. I have a lot of alien figures though. 1299 is not terrible. Oh, there's more here. That's uh, funny, I just picked these up from the outlet also for 10 bucks. How much? So they're selling it for $18.99. Funny enough, they got it from the Disney outlet for 10 bucks. They still have the sticker on there. Those are the time. I have this one. How much are they selling this one for? $15.99. So it's not terribly overpriced for some of this stuff. Yeah. They probably got these from the outlet too. Yeah, definitely because they have these as well. So that's smart, I guess. Buy them at the outlet and flip them to tourists. Who the heck is this? Oh my god, it's like an antique doll. Yo. Oh, okay. Now this is Oh my god. This is vintage Ronald McDonald phone here. Look at that price though. $325. But this is awesome. Man, talk about taking me back here. We also got this vintage Mickey phone for 100 That is pretty awesome. Alright, so we found a good booth here. Mickey bobblehead. Mickey cups. Some baseball cups. What is this? Oh, the figures. That, so it's $10, $13 for the whole bag. Toy Story 2 figures. Or is it $10? Well, it said $10 here. It's a $13. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know. It comes with a Happy Meal bag. Oh, so these are Happy Meals. Okay. Yeah, but the boxes are probably going to be all bent out of shape from being in here. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll see if I get anything else. Not maybe come back for it. Oh, we got a box version. This is Kellogg's. Cute. Cereal promotion. So... Yeah, but 
This is weird <laughs> because this is this isn't part of this Ninja Turtle. We used to sell this Ninja Turtle at Toys R Us, and they have like this traffic light that they put. It's 125 for the traffic light. For some reason, they put it on top of the turtle. That's pretty cool. And they also have right there. What else do we have? Some vintage like. Uh, banks, I guess. Yeah, like little piggy banks. Bunch of vintage NASCAR stuff. Ooh. So and even more vintage NASCAR stuff. It's pretty cool. I guess I got a thing for traffic lights. Another set of traffic lights. These are like legit traffic lights too. Like, I don't think these are prop replicas. I think these are actual traffic lights. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. How much is that? How much? 45. 45. Out of my price range. Like, that is pretty awesome. I remember, I remember we used to sell this at Toys R Us too. I think my dad actually still has this. What else we got? Ooh, anything good? Anything good? GI Joe on VHS. So this is probably just like a couple episodes, twenty bucks. Nothing else good. These GI Joes are a little interesting. Other than that, nothing good there. So anybody? Okay, anything, anything, anything. Got Babe on VHS, classic movie. I don't need it though. We got a game, Madden 08. Alright, there we go. Please remember to rewind. The movie is just the best man. Two bucks. Okay. All right, all right. What we got? We got Rocky on VHS. How much is this? Two fifty. Might pick this up. We also got Rocky Five. This is probably also yep two fifty. They don't have the others. They only got one and five, which is random. Huh? If they had the whole set, I'd pick it up. But it's kind of random just to get one and five. So if I can find the rest of the set, maybe I'll pick it up. Right, uh, here we go. This is cool. So, yep. So this was actually in part of the Disney Resort. You can see here, it's part of like a hotel room. And then they also have this stuff here. So this was part of the Grand Floridian Hotel. You can see where it was used. The lighting on this side kind of sucks. And this is from the Polynesian Resort. So you can see that. So this is 60 bucks for this. Uh, how much is this chair? This chair, 35. So it's like a cool little piece of Disney history that you can get. Yeah, all of these chairs are 60 bucks. And what is this? Is it like a ice machine or something of the other? Not really sure what that is. And it looks like these are probably part of like the hotel rooms also. Yeah, so this was used on the Disney Cruise Line ship. It was 250 bucks. It's like some painting. And then same thing here. This is also part of the Disney Cruise Line. It's only 195. So it's just cool that you can have like a piece of Disney history. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. A little child shirt though, too small for me. They're pretty cool. Oh snap. Anakin's pod racing. Part of it at least. It's missing the front end. So many. Oh, this is from Space Jam. Vintage McDonald's toy. That's pretty awesome. So many McDonald's Happy Meal toys and like 
Oh, hold on. Okay, so they have like the full set of these Space Jam toys. Bunch of Daffies. Okay, maybe not the full set. Oh, maybe. How many were there? There's. This is number seven. I'd have to dig through this whole thing. Pretty cool, like vintage M&M. Looks like a cookie jar. Also got just some random vintage cups. Oh, look at that. Mister. Pretty cool. Do they have the Mrs. to match? Oh, they do. Christina might be getting these. Let's uh, let's see. All right, they're nine dollars. That's gonna be a pass on that. But still pretty cute. Ah, there's always that one person that has just a whole booth full of Coke products. Here it is, just everything, Coke, Coke cars, random pops here. How much do they want for this? No price on it, from what I can see. And then just a bunch of other Coke products. And then of course you got the, I don't know if these are vintage. No, it doesn't look like it. But they have a bunch of vintage Cokes. M&M scented candle. Nah, <laughs> it doesn't really smell like much to me. Why'd you give me this? Take it back. Hot Topic exclusive diamond. $21.99, that's pretty cool. Hot Topic exclusive and it's diamond, so it's like glittery and whatnot. That is pretty awesome. And some more NASCAR stuff over here and some, of course, bunch more Coke stuff. Even more Coke stuff over here. interesting other than maybe triple X other than that nothing that's catching my interest oh look at that spider-man poster and also like a two-pack of action figures what is this oh it's like a cardboard cutout Other interesting VHSs over here. <laughs> Set of years. Oh, we got Pops. Bob Ross. Harley Quinn. What is this? Batman Returns. Maybe trading cards, it looks like. And a whole bunch of Batman Forever trading cards. Oh, look at this set. Four vintage Ronald McDonald's cups yellow cups that's pretty cool and disney imagineering hat 150 dollars 1960s goofy plush for 100 3d glasses that's pretty cool stuff right there oh power rangers little mini figs 11.99 what <laughs> christina found what she wants what does she want? Oh my god, I already know what it is. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> or the blanket. This is all stuff you can get at like Target. Okay, hey, you're the best. Ha uh -huh. ha. These sick vintage cameras. 1974. How far we come. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? So weird. Yeah, 
vintage typewriter. This might be like the first time I've seen one of those in person. And some vintage weights too. Yeah, some autographed jerseys. We got Jerry West over here. That's pretty cool. $550 for the jersey autograph with the frame and everything. That's the only interesting jersey I see. You guys know I'm a big basketball fan, so that's the only one that draws my interest. Ah, look at this. An old school Coke pedal car. Before Power Wheels. More like vintage Hot Wheels, NASCAR. Ah, another pedal vehicle right here. You got this airplane, special edition it says. Oh, okay, that's not creepy at all. Yo, Treasure Planet cutout, $400 though. That's pretty sick. Oh, what is this? What are these called? Headliners? Dikembe Mutombo. This is kind of cool. How much I want for this? $1.50? fifty. You know what? I might pick this up. It's only a dollar fifty. Like, why not? I've never seen these before. It's funny. It's like NBA Jam when you do the big head mode. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. It's a dollar fifty. Whole bunch of comics. I'm not a big comic book person, so I'm not gonna go through all those. But plenty of comic books here. Pretty cool antique snow globes and like little figurines or statues. Also got some like vintage plates back there. We also have like these figurines down here which are really really cool. So really awesome. We got some more this way. Pretty cool stuff, some Haunted Mansion figurines. And just like lamps and silverware and stuff. Some old Christmas decorations, 225. Oh, this is pretty cool. This looks newer, but got that Halloween Mickey. I think that's an Animal Kingdom Mickey. That might be, if I remember correctly, I think this is from like opening day at Mad uh, Animal Kingdom. No, this one isn't, but there used to be one here. What else do we have? Some like Star Wars stuff. Playset, walkie talkie. What is this? Oh, this is like the pizza slinger from um, Ninja Turtles. Same concept, you would put discs in here and then it would fire out discs. That's pretty cool. I actually just picked this up at a different thrift store for like five bucks. They want 35 for it. What else do we got? Crown with uh, Mickey ears on it. A bunch of different vintage glasses. Some random DVDs and stuff, nothing interesting. I don't know what this is, but something from episode one. Ah, Christmas Reef. I picked this up for like 10 bucks. They're selling it for 40, which I think is regular retail for it, but I got this at the Disney outlet for like 10 bucks. Oh, you guys remember these? It's episode one, like, oh my God, body wash. I used to have some of these. That is awesome. And they're still in there too. So. <laughs> If you want to use some body wash from like 1999, there you go. And they got Darth Maul. Oh man, so cool. Old Thermos cup. A mug. The World of Barbie. This is old. How old is this? I don't see a year on here. 1971. Looks like Christina found something. Let's go see what she found. What did you find? Oh my god, do you guys remember Mighty Beans? Oh, hold on, we gotta open this up. 
Okay, maybe not. I only have one hand, but Mighty Beans used to be awesome. Yeah, how much? There's no price on Oh, $24. So it's like regular retail. You check all these already? Um, 24. Alright, that is super creepy. Mother Teresa. Yeah, that is that is creepy. I would have nightmares if I woke up and saw that staring at me in my house. Bunch of like vintage records. I'm not into record collecting like that, but that's pretty cool. And like some signs and whatnot. Did you see that creepy Mother Teresa? Mm -hmm. I was just gonna see that. Oh, the Simpsons Christmas special. VHS and you got original Michael Keaton Batman $5 VHS uh oh I found some stuff of interest Michael Jordan Wheaties boxes how much how much Ugh, $40 that's not terrible for something this vintage but I'm not paying $40 for a, a box of cereal to put on display but that is Pretty awesome to see. 1995. I was two years old when this box came out. And this one, $45 for this box here. This is uh, MJ's sophomore year. That's 98. But this image is from his sophomore year, I believe. But this box is from 98. Put that back. No, not really, but we have a opened up mini Wii box. Well, it's cool, but I'm good. Bunch of DVDs, but nothing good. Oh, hold on, I lied. Drumline. Love this movie. Oh, man. I think I'm pretty sure I own this already, but still cool to see. Power Rangers, VHS. What else do they have? I have this as well. Take that out so someone can see that. Shrek. Oh my god, why is this so big? What the heck? That's interesting. Special edition video cassette. Why is it so big of a package? And they even had to put like the spacer here. I don't know why that's like that, but I'm just gonna leave that there. I also have Pinocchio. I'm not sure if I have Pinocchio or not. I have to check. Tarzan, I for sure have. I have also like more vintage snow globes and like these little I don't know what you would call these like statues and just random pictures more figurines Oh, another one of these phones. $55 for this one. The other one was in a little bit better shape. I think they wanted 100 like More of these picture frames. Oh, I found figures. Watch out. What is this figure? Pirates of the Caribbean. $12, a little bit much. I have some Star Wars crossover figures, but I think these are from Tokyo Disneyland, if I'm not mistaken. We've been in the store for 45 minutes already. And we're like, not halfway yet. What is this? This is weird. It's like a Budweiser not basketball or not, not like NBA it's weird I got these like Dale Earnhardt ones that's pretty cool I'm gonna get that for my dad how much did I do? 20 bucks that's legit like this feels this is hefty and I have a bunch of them I like coffee mugs or something that's 
pretty awesome. Zorro. Ah, oh, this is definitely Toy Story. What is this? Ah, Snow Globe. Oh, got some more VHSs. I grabbed a few from this booth last time I was here. Stuart Little. Nothing really too interesting that I don't already have. Bugs Life. I don't know if I have this alternate cover. That is the problem. Oh man. I need all the Bugs Life covers. I have three different variants, but I'm not sure which ones. Let's see if I have any pictures that I can look up. A whole bunch of really cool plates. And also some vintage books too. Vintage posters. You guys remember that from the Hollywood Studios? Vintage McDonald's Christmas ornaments. And this other McDonald's toys. Vintage Hershey's Cocoa. It is empty. But that is pretty cool to see. $2.99. And some vintage band-aid. Ooh. Disney band-aids. Do you have a year on this? Doesn't look like it. Nope. But still, pretty cool to see history like this. And if you want some baby oil, you got you covered. A bunch of just other little random assortment of figures. Happy Meal toys again. Disney World Tribune. Not gonna lie, I didn't know that was you next to me and I thought it was just a random person. That's a pretty cool clock. That's pretty awesome. Oh man, bunch of VHSs. Now I have to go through this and see what I have and what I don't have. And there's just a bunch more over here too. Oh man, I already see one that I need. All the 50. on them, 20 bucks, hippie meeting, now these are all fairly new, I believe, but here's stuff that was like at Halloween Horror Nights and whatnot in Universal, like props and stuff, you can buy that, you can buy this replica arcade machine for $1,500. So that is really cool uh, that was probably part of like a haunted house or something actually it was part of the store you can see right there more props that was from the disney cruise line fast and the furious sign for two hundred dollars this was from the epcot morocco pavilion Disney original prop from an escape room, $50. Oh, 
Little rats inside. Snake inside of this one. Got this like Christmas looking decoration. It almost reminds me of It's a Small World. Well, this was from a Disney Springs display for $1,500. We got these chairs from the Polynesian, $125. So just really cool like pieces of history. Look at this. Bed runners from the hotel, 25 bucks. Grand Floridian pillows. Yo, this Buzz Lightyear, 200 bucks, that's pretty cool. Where is this from? It just says used for display, so somewhere in Disney. Same, uh, theme park, purchase your theme park, park props here. That's pretty cool. More chairs from hotels, just cruise line chairs. So I picked some of these up the last time I was here and these are ornaments that were used as like decorations at Disney. So these were used for Christmas during the Disney Christmas tree on the cruise line. These were used at the Disney Pop Century Hotel. Uh, they, these were used on the trees at Animal Kingdom. So just really, really cool stuff that you can just buy and they're not expensive, like $4 for an ornament. Yes, it is used and slightly damaged, but it's a piece of Disney history. So that is pretty cool. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party sign for 500. What? So face covering, handcrafted. That is really really cool. So these are actually. How much is that? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. A little pricey for a mask, but that is cool that these were made out of like cast member uniforms. That is really awesome. So yeah, they are a little pricey, but again, another piece of Disney history recycled costumes as face masks. That is a really cool idea. So this Lego Disney castle is normally $400 by itself. They're selling this one for $850 and this was one that was on display at Magic Kingdom. That's pretty awesome. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge props here. Like that's a cast member card for 15. A little light up snowman. And then a bunch of different pins from resorts. These are props. Mm, coming up on the 50th this year. So it's like props from Disneyland too. This is really cool. Look at these. Obviously it's damaged or whatever, but this is like part of Disney history right here. Oh man, this is part of the 25th anniversary castle decorations. This is from the castle. So for the 25th anniversary, they did this cake design, and this is part of the castle. And this is from Parade, yeah. And they got these other props here. Really cool stuff. Oh, look, Mickey Mouse Club. Like little desk type of thing. Stuff from like Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. What the heck is this? Random Wii game. Furry, furry, furry Park. Looks like a collection of mini games. Pretty cool map of DCA Disney California Adventure. 
That's really awesome. Hundred dollars. That's Disneyland. Tom. Yep. Twin Town Disneyland map. They have a security jacket. That's cool. It's not for sale though. Do you know what you're looking at? A hot air balloon basket? Yes. This is part of a hot air balloon. That is awesome. You don't need that. Yo, I remember this Mario Kart. They want $300 for it. This thing we sell at Toys R Us when I worked there. Pretty cool. I'm not paying $300 for it. I think it was $300 new. Or maybe $200. I don't remember. But pretty cool to see it. Oh, I was about to turn the camera off. But I just found something interesting. I think it's Vintage Rambo Thermos Lunchbox. Completely rusted out. 1985. That is just so cool. Imagine you're a kid coming to school with a Rambo lunchbox. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh boy. We hit the mother load of like die cast stuff over here. Bunch of different Hot Wheels, Thomas the Tank Engine. Honestly, a lot of trains over here. This is all train, die cast trains. A lot of stuff to go through over here. Yeah, not going through all that, but pretty cool. It's like actual, maybe real guns over here, since that's covered up. Some vintage Power Ranger stuff here from the movie. Black Ranger also. Also some WWF figures. If I didn't already have this, I'd pick it up, even though it is bedazzled. We got a bunch of games in here. Let's see if we can find anything good. Finding Nemo for five bucks. Maybe I'll pick that up. What the heck? When did they make a Titanic video game? Interesting. This looks like it's part of like the Telltale series. Uh, Ah, oh, Finding Nemo looks kind of interesting. Five bucks, maybe. So maybe I'll come back to Finding Nemo. I'll have to think about it. Oh, this is uh, like from a hotel. I think, right? I'm assuming. Well, well, you guys know the sports card craze going on. Here's a bunch of vintage sports cards. That's a pretty cool, like, vintage gas station display. Huh. I should display my Hot Wheels in there. That'd be the perfect display. I just need a couple of them because I got so many Hot Wheels. Honestly, though, that's not a bad idea. No, because it's probably, like, super expensive. What is this? This caught my eye. NBA Jam advertisement on a fantastic, no, I was going to say Fantastic Justice Four, that's uh, just Superman Street. versus Muhammad Ali, $17.99 for this poster, not bad, not bad, also got a Tupac poster, Ooh, look at that, that's pretty cool, $400, M&M display, that'd be cool to have in like a man cave or like a movie theater set up, you can have a bunch of snacks in here, one day, one day I'll get one of these. Vintage Tonka little plaything made out of all like metal. They don't make toys like they used to. Toys in the 50s, 60s, 70s, top of the notch quality. Got some Lord of the Rings, Stormbreaker, that's newer though. Cap Gun. Ooh. Hello, we found some games. How much are the games though? They don't have prices on them. Let's see if I can go inside the booth. Finish looking at what's here before we head in the booth. Oh, a bunch of Black Series figures. Whole bunch of Black Series figures. Okay. 
some of these I didn't even know they came out. They got like Holiday Trooper. Oh yeah, those came out recently. I do remember seeing pictures of those. Uh, I haven't seen half of these like in store or anything. These are like brand new. Bad Batch figures. Excuse me. Back here and see what else we got. 25th anniversary. Yeah, we got a bunch of really cool stuff in this booth. Vintage figures, newer figures, figures that are maybe like 10 years old. Bunch of black series, like a whole bunch of black series figures in here. I really want to know how much those games were. I don't have prices on them. And this booth, I have to get the key to open it. Where are the Ryu figures in there? <sighs> Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay, so is this an uh, inner cooler? No, it's a like connect camera type of thing. Marvel Legends. Uh, there's what? A Happy Meal toys? Uh, it's too much to go through. Napoleon Dynamite. Too much to go through, but oh boy, this thing's on wheels. Oh, progress. Bunch of, oh, this is all Happy Meals toys. Yeah, it's too much to go through right now. But. All right, so we gotta find out how much those games are. We'll come back. That's pretty cool, Clone Trooper helmet. 350 bucks. Mr. Bean. Uh, what do we got over here? A whole bunch of like picture frames and stuff whole bunch more comics yeah I'm not going through all of this oh is this vintage starting lineup hmm what the heck these are like uh RIA certified records. Are these like authentic? Boys are us exclusive. Pretty cool. I'm not really interested in the pop, but Toys are us exclusive. Look at this giant harmonica. The Beatles, like a knockoff Monopoly type of game. Where'd she go? We lost her. Oh, oh, look. Look, look, look. We got a bunch of uh, turtle stuff here, vintage turtles. Oh man, that's some really, really cool stuff here. Look at that. Piccolo. Man, the 90s was a crazy time. What is this? Or this might even be early 2000s. What in the world? Watch it. Die cast vehicles. Ooh, the entire pop booth. A lot, a lot of pops. There's gonna be way too much to go through. Is this the Sandlot? I didn't know they made Sandlot pops. My dog, Benny. How much is this, 20 bucks? Whoa. I never knew that they made uh, Sandlot pops. 30 bucks for this two pack? I 
That's an old one. I remember that from my Toys R Us days. Oh my god, even more. What in the world? Ah, oh, this is from Target Con. How much are they selling this for? 40 bucks? Retail was what, 30 I think? Ooh, plastic oh, FYE exclusive. Pretty cool. Green Giant, Gremlins. Oh my god. <laughs> the game operation. Yeah. And they, they know what they're doing. They got their valuable stuff in here. We can call it a day. I just want to check this one last booth over here. I saw with sports figures. Oh man, look at all these. Ooh, another vintage phone. This one's sixty dollars. Winnie the Pooh. I love these vintage phones, man. Uh, I saw a sports figure somewhere. I don't know where it was. Oh my god, Tech Deck dudes. I used to have so many of these. Memories. <sighs> okay, I think we're good to go. Oh, some vintage Mighty Morphin figures. From the movie. Alright guys, so we picked up a few things, so let's go over just really quickly what we picked up. Uh, there was so much cool stuff in there, but I really just stuck to the stuff that I needed and that was at a decent price. So, we got the Goofy Movie on VHS, this was $1.50, and I also got Recess Schools Out on VHS, which was also $1.50, so we can add that to the VHS collection. I also picked up this like McDonald's, oh no, it got kind of crushed. Uh, this McDonald's Toy Story like toy basically, uh, but it's meant to look like a clamshell VHS tape. So that is really, really cool. And it just houses uh, you know, a regular Woody figure on the inside. I didn't really care about the figure. It was more so just about having this little VHS thing. So that is really cool. I also picked up this NBA Headliners, Dikembe Mutombo, just little figure. It was $1.50, so I figured at that price, why not? It's just something cool to have. Still sealed, pretty great condition. Uh, I have no clue what this is. So it's like a cup from Tangled. She picked this up for one of our friends. Uh, looks like you would have got this at maybe like, uh, oh, this was at the Disney parks actually, but it's got that like classic bendy straw from like the 90s. Uh, but this is from probably, I want to say, it doesn't have a date on it. This is probably like 08 more or less and it comes with the bag and everything like that so we got that and whatever take that and for the same friend i also picked up uh this magazine the star wars magazine this was two dollars uh just because jar jar binks is her favorite character so i had to pick that up for her so there we go so that was our haul i guess nothing too crazy or anything like that i definitely forgot there was some games i wanted to look at oh man there were some game boy games in there do i want to go back in there i kind of do but i kind of don't uh, oh decisions i don't know if i if i go back in i'll put a clip here or something but uh that is everything we picked up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that link will be down below and uh that's it for me so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time